Hi all, this is just a follow up video on the performance of my dual band TT Mtron beam. Uh, it's for 20, 15 and 10 metres and I uh, just had a couple of people ask how, how's it going. Um, bloody well, excellent. I, I couldn't be happy, more happy with the beam itself. It's uh, performing really well. I'm currently on uh, the dipole and this will just give you an idea of the difference between the, the dipole, which is a uh, BBA uh, dipole. Some people call it a clothesline for obvious reasons, um, but that's, that dipole uh, works really well. Uh, it's virtually resonant from one to uh, 30 meg. And uh, yeah, it serves me as a general purpose antenna, the dipole, uh, but uh, Obviously, we, we like to get antennas resonant on each band and, you know, but ham radio is a compromise. You know, I don't have the space to have an antenna farm and a, and a, uh, uh, an antenna for every single uh, frequency or band I want to use. So, um, yeah, the dipole works well. So, I'm currently running a Yaesu FTDX101D, a sensational radio. And uh, so... I'll give you an idea of the difference between the two antennas, the dipole and the beam. So obviously the beam's gonna outperform the dipole, as you would expect. Dipoles are fairly directional, I would say, as such, they, they are deaf. They can get deaf on their um, polarization, I suppose, if you wanna call it that. Uh, but obviously the beam, yeah, you can move it around and do whatever you want. So at the moment I'm facing Northeast. I'm in Perth and Western Australia, so to me, I would be beaming towards Europe, and uh, that's what exactly what I'm hearing at the moment. I've probably got Italy in there or something like that. So I can just get him on audio. Look, I'm not running um, preamp or anything like that. I usually don't run the the preamp settings. Uh, I'll just chuck it on here now. So look, wrong one. Uh, so you can have a idea of um, the preamp on the radio when, it, when it's working. I might turn that down a bit, it might be a little bit annoying. But uh, usually I just don't run a preamp. Um, don't really have to. Um, you know, it, it, nine times out of ten I, I, I wouldn't run a preamp. Okay, so as I said, I'm running on the um, dipole at the moment and uh, this is, uh, radio's got three antenna ports. The um, Antenna number two is for the rotatable dipole, and that's resonant on 40, oh, sorry, 2015 and 10 as well. Um, yeah, it worked out really well, that dipole. A bit like the um, dual bander. So let's just switch it over onto the dual element beam, and we'll just see, have a look at the signal difference. So you can see straight away. Uh, straight away you can see the difference in the signal strength um, yeah really good and uh, I, I had some good copies into Europe last night I'm probably not going to do any tonight it's get, getting a bit on in the night yeah it's great to see uh, 20 metres uh, open at this time of night I posted a quick video last night and I was just running my little Yaesu 991A in a like an off centre fed dipole and uh, yeah that uh, yeah, that receives really well. I made a few contacts on that one last night. So I just thought I'd give you an idea of how good the um, the the beam works in regards to um, the receive. Look, I'll do some videos to transmit at a future date. We'll just see what that station is around here somewhere. Uh, uh, where is he gone? No, he's gone a bit quiet. Uh, okay, so yeah, I, I wouldn't look if I hadn't put the beam up, I, I wouldn't have heard the station at all. If I, I switch back down onto the dipole, yeah, the whole band goes quiet. So we'll just go back onto the beam and uh, not necessarily uh, pointing to that station, that could be anywhere. So um, yeah, just a quick update. Really happy with the beam. If you can, if you haven't got the space in your backyard, or you don't want a huge, big ass antenna hovering over the hovering over the house, thoroughly recommend a um, 
a dual element beam. It, yeah, that works really well. You know, I'm not going to stress over an S point here or there. And uh, so what I've got to do in my situation is um, get antennas that work best for me and what I want to do with the hobby. Um, you know, I'd love to have a six metre vertical up and a, and a two metre and a 70 sem and everything, but I, I just don't have the real estate to have all those sorts of antennas. I just run a, um, a you know, Diamond X700 or whatever the hell they are. Uh, dual band VHF UHF antenna yeah they're really good antennas about seven meters tall so really good so I, as I said you know I don't have the real estate to be putting up multiple towers and um, sooner or later you know I'm gonna really start pissing the neighbors off as well um, so I've only got the, the one big tower at the moment I've got a couple of verticals up try to keep it fairly discreet and um, hopefully uh, the uh, the fun police won't get hold of me and tell me to take it down, even though I have done everything to the letter of the law um, and uh, it's uh, all been signed off on. So, uh, so far, so good. Okay, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you can. It's up to you. Drop a comment uh, about what's happening in your part of the world. I think the uh, solar index was up over 100 last night somebody uh, dropped it in one of the comment comments last night so yeah it skips uh, up and about at the moment and um yeah just i suppose like at the moment 20 meters is going a bit off the ball that is heading towards 12 o'clock at night over here in western australia thanks for watching 73s for now